you started at such a young age. Yeah. And, you know, why did you get into acting? I, what, what was it that drove you? I started when I was very young. And I wasn't one of those kids that thought, you know, when I was two years old, I'm going to be an actress one day. I didn't know what an actress was. I didn't, you know. My dad was an actor, but... And I was surrounded by creative people from the time I was born because he started out in the theatre. Um, and so I think especially in New York, the theatre community is so tight um, and so familial. And just because of the nature of the city as well, so many of the people that are part of the New York theatre community come from somewhere else. They're Irish or they're Italian or they're whatever, English or... And so I was surrounded by those people growing up and I think being exposed to um, a group of young creative people who were open with me and interacted with me when I was a kid, I suppose they probably encouraged me to be a bit like that too. And it just kind of became a part of my personality that imagination was where I went to. You know, I'm an only child and for the first three years of my life was in New York in a little apartment and apart from when I'd go to nursery I wouldn't be around other kids so imagination was kind of all I had um, but I didn't kind of translate that into thinking oh well I must become an actor then you know and uh, I always did voices I was always exposed to different accents my dad always did different accents and it's a typically Irish thing as well when you're telling a story or you're, you know, impersonating someone that you, you put on an accent. <laughs> so that's what we do, you know, and I had grown up communicating in, in that way with people. Um, and then we went back home and that's where work was taking my dad. Um, he kind of started to gradually get into film and TV and things like that. And he was doing this like really weird little art house short film which was like really made no sense and it was all very dreamlike and um, they needed a kid and they needed a kid who was like half human, half clown or something like weird, you know, <laughs> weird like that. So of course he looked to me and uh, I would have been about maybe six or something and um, he asked me to do it and initially I didn't want to do it, you know, because I, I wasn't the kind of kid that wanted a lot of attention or anything like that. It was just very kind of would be in my own head a lot, I suppose. Um, but anyway, eventually I, I did it because they needed someone to do it. And as soon as I went onto the set, I just felt, it felt right for me to be there. You know, it felt very natural for me to be in this kind of environment. And I liked that it took different pieces of, of a sort of machine, if you, I don't want to call it a machine, but Different, different elements came together to make one complete thing, and I liked that. Um, and I, you know, it was beyond me at that point. I, I didn't comprehend what that was, but it was something that I was really drawn to. And I remember there was this guy on the set who was supposed to be like our producer, or was supposed to be. And, <laughs> um, and I remember we were, we were about to do a take where I kind of peeked behind a doorway or something like that, and I was kind of getting my head into that place and he kept talking and he was talking and he was talking and he was talking and they started to roll and sound started to speed and he was still talking and I remember I turned around to him, I was only about seven and I turned around and I just went shh quiet on the set and he looked at me and he was like completely shocked that this little young one had told him to you know <laughs> pipe down and um, yeah and I just it's been amazing because even just, you know, doing the play at the minute, acting can, and filmmaking and storytelling can, can take you down so many different routes and you're constantly having your eyes open to different kind of possibilities and how to tell a story and it just hasn't, that fascination hasn't really stopped for me, you know. So it was from then that it just kind of carried on really, but it was all, it was luck, it was, a lot of it was luck.